The great outdoors is an allure that's hard to describe with words, but if we were to try, 19th century naturalists and author Henry David Thoreau and Walden couldn't have summed it up better. We can never have enough nature. However, to walk into the wilderness unprepared will almost certainly sour the experience, and a little preparation goes a long way to yield a more enjoyable outcome. In this EDC Essentials Guide, we've rounded up 10 of our favorite outdoor essentials that will properly equip you for just about anything Mother Nature could muster up. Up first, the dedicated outdoor Terex catalog encapsulates the pinnacle of Adidas's performance engineering precisely recalibrated for the wilderness, and in a world in the midst of an environmental crisis, the Terex line stands as a guardian of the planet that champions sustainability by integrating eco-conscious design principles into the gear. The Terex collection features a very diverse range of hiking shoes, boots, trail runners, and outerwear for every type of outdoor enthusiast. A shining star in this roster are the blacked out Terex Free Hiker Gore-Tex 2.0s, a hyper-engineered boot and shoe hybrid partially fabricated from recycled materials. The Terex Free Hiker 2s are powered by an innovative boost midsole that provides a spring of propulsion with each step, all while fully guarding your feet from the elements thanks to the reliable Gore-Tex membrane that both protects and breathes. Sometimes finding a comfortable hiking boot is harder than it sounds, and they often require a fairly lengthy and painful break-in period. But the Free Hiker 2s use a very comfortable upper, flexible internal frame, and gusseted tongue that wraps around your foot and acts as a shield simultaneously. Durability and longevity is on everyone's mind these days with rising costs, and Adidas says you covered here too. The Continental Rubber Outsole, yep, the same vulcanized tire rubber, will provide extreme traction and grip and should last you many years with proper care. And just look at them, what other hiking shoe provides this much style? Ultimately, that's a major part of the Terex line, and this boot in particular, taking the Adidas aesthetic and infusing it into a remarkably lightweight piece of gear that will most certainly become your go-to piece of outdoor footwear once you try them on for yourself. The Mudmaster almost sounds like a creature from a 50s horror flick, but it's not. It's a G-Shock from Casio and it's absolutely ruggedly insane. There is no surface left untouched, unadorned, or unbroken. It's maximalism to the max. Like its name aptly suggests, the Mudmaster was created to withstand, well, mud. But more than that, it's basically element proof. Fire, ice, rain, mud, pressure, altitude, magnetism, humidity, temperature, you name it, the Mudmaster can handle it. It is the definitive outdoor G-Shock. At 54.4 millimeters in diameter with a lug to lug of 61.2 and a thickness of 16.1, this is certainly not a wearable watch for just anyone, but more so a practical tool, dare we say an instrument. Think extreme sports, hiking the PCT or Appalachian Trail for months at a time, or even construction and fabrication, firefighting, the list goes on. Even though the watch has massive presence, its weight is 106 grams or 3.75 ounces, or about the weight of a D-sized battery. You can give all the credit to the resin outer case and the internal carbon core guard structure for the weight savings. Functionally, the Mudmaster is absolutely packed to the brim in typical G-Shock form. A trio of sensors keep track of the direction via a digital compass, altitude up to 32,000 feet, barometric pressure, and accurate temperature readings from 14 degrees Fahrenheit to 140 degrees, 200 meters of water resistance, solar power, a bright LED, and neobrite material applied to the dial. Binoculars aren't just for that old lady who wanders your local park looking for that elusive songbird. The classic twin lens systems are a welcome companion for any outdoor excursion. Hiking, wildlife, birding, hunting, stargazing, golf, sports events, theater, you name it. The field issue 10 by 32 binoculars from Knox Provisions are some of the best with ample looks to match. Just check out the wave pattern and the gold accent typography. The field issue 10 by 32 mid-sized binoculars integrates the optics of the pro issue with the compact form factor of their standard issue. More specifically, the high five fully metal coated optics and the Swiss designated bake four prism with the chunky easy to use focus wheel that features a high gear ratio for quick adjustments. What's more, these units are fully water and fog proof, carrying an IPX7 rating, with a featherweight build at 16.7 ounces thanks to the medical grade thermoplastic housing, and they provide a 10 by 32 magnification ratio, from 9.3 feet all the way to infinity, a magnification equivalent to about a 500mm lens. And although it definitely won't beat out your DSLR, the field issue binoculars are specifically designed to accommodate the small lens on the front of your smartphone to snap a couple reference photos of the subject. So just line up the optics and start shooting. The Leatherman Signal Multi-Tool is purpose-made for outdoor application. 
A fire starter, hammer, one-handed combo blade, and emergency whistle are just a few of the 19 total features this powerhouse builds in. Think of it this way, instead of carrying a pack full of individual supplies, why not pick up a practical all-in-one tool made by the folks who many consider do it best? Dimensionally, you're talking 4.5 inches long when the tools are fully closed, with a 1.5 inch width and a 0.63 inch thickness. Pretty standard dimensions for a Leatherman, so if you have something like the Wave Plus or even a Free Series, you can expect it to be about the same, and it only weighs about 7.5 ounces to minimize your pack's heft on the back. Here are the 19 outdoor focus tools the Signal Multi-Tool builds in. Even those pliers, regular pliers, premium replaceable wire cutters and hard wire cutters, a wire stripper, 420HC combo knife, a saw, a hammer, and all with a threaded loop, a can opener, a bottle opener, a quarter inch hex bit drive, a bit driver, a quarter inch box wrench, a carabiner, a 3 16th box wrench, safety whistle, ferrocerium rod, and diamond coated sharpener. Also, head over to the Leatherman site to pick from 9 different color options. Sunglasses in their most basic form date back to the prehistoric Inuit who fully understood the blinding power of the sun as it reflected off the bright snow. The primitive units were fashioned from ivory, often walrus, and consisted of thin horizontal apertures to block a high percentage of the sun from hitting the eyes. Now, sunglasses are packed with modern technology. Think full spectrum UVA and UVB protection, polarized lenses of all different shapes and colors, and thousands of styles, but their core purpose hasn't changed. The Jolbo Explorer 2 sunglasses were specifically created for mountaineering and are the pinnacle of sunglasses evolution, building off the first iteration, and they're apt for alpine exploration. You name it, and the Explorer 2s have it full spectrum UV protection, convenient 360 degree adjustable temples, anti fog ventilation, shock absorbent grip tech nose pads, and an uber clear interior anti reflective coating. So next time you consider packing away your designer Ray-Bans for the outdoors, think again. Have you ever found yourself hiking with a gnarly blister from a fresh pair of boots you forgot to break in? What about with a splinter, cut, or scrape from a fall? We've all been there, and we've also made the mistake of not venturing out fully prepared for an accident or an injury. Vessel, or VSSL for short, aims to fix this by supplying an ultra-portable first aid ecosystem called the First Aid Stash Light. It consists of a military-grade 7.5-inch tall aluminum cylinder with four interior stash tins, three 1-ounce tins, and one 0.5-ounce tin that come unpacked so you can fully customize your first aid carry for your specific application, all sealed off with a screw-top cap for water resistance. The best part about the Vessel First Aid Stash Light is that it's not a one-size-fits-all kit, which you'll find at any retailer but rather an organization system for your specific first aid EDC. But the features don't stop there. This particular vessel builds in a bright water resistant Formo 200 lumen LED lantern with 20 plus hours of continuous light and 40 plus hours of SOS display, making this truly a life-saving tool. We all know and love rugged Pelican phone cases and perhaps even water bottles, but they also manufacture a slew of other EDC, like the fully weatherproof and RFID protected G5 Personal Utility RF Field Wallet. Sure, credit cards are technically already waterproof, and carrying around cash is slowly becoming a relic of the past, but the G5 Personal Utility RF Field Wallet isn't just for water assistance. Like the infamous Pelican phone cases, this unit is also crush proof with an IP67 rating and sports full RFID protection for travel, making it useful for the jet-setting outdoor adventure as well. If you have any issues on any of these fronts, Pelican also offers a generous lifetime guarantee on the field wallet. The G5 Personal Utility RF Field Wallet measures 5 inches long by 3 inches wide by 0.8 inches thick, and it sports a rubber interior that uses an elastomeric strap and a mesh organizer to organize your financial carry as you see fit. And if you have any overflow, not to worry, the field wallet also builds in an external rear rubber strap for quick access. There are a verifiable plethora of metrics that make a water bottle a good water bottle, but as is the case with most anything else, intended application is key, and for use in the great outdoors there are a select few touch points you want to consider before finalizing your purchase. Let's consider why the mere insulated water bottle is one of our favorites. First, a good outdoor use water bottle has a form factor you can easily tuck away in a carry solution of your choosing. Our unit here carries 23 ounces of liquid, that's just shy of 3 cups, in an attractive and fairly standard cylindrical shape that measures 11.25 inches tall by 3 inches wide. Second, since your water bottle will most likely live inside a pack, you won't want it to start sweating or leaking. The Mir insulated water bottle uses Thermo 3D double wall vacuum insulation and a leak proof screw cap to keep these from happening, but as you can imagine it also keeps your liquids hot and cold. 
hot for up to 12 hours, and cold for more than 24. Last, with the help of purchases made by its customers, Mir has donated more than $4 million to nonprofits and charitable organizations across 26 countries worldwide. With your purchase, you'll have the opportunity to select exactly where your donation is allocated on your behalf, so you can rest easy knowing that your money could go to help the very outdoor spaces you intend to explore. We all love a Zippo. There's a cool factor in history that's really hard to ignore. When you whip one out and strike the flint wheel, it goes straight to your head. Every time. However, your fuel source really won't last forever. You'll be lucky to squeeze out a few weeks with regular use, and even less with infrequent use since you were drying out the propellant. That's the last thing you'll want to think about when you need a reliable ignition source in a remote area. But the Frog & Co. Tough Tesla Lighter 2.0 is the definitive solution. Using a rechargeable 3.7 volt 220 milliamp hour lithium polymer battery, you'll have about 300 pocketable or at least packable ignitions per charge. What are the benefits of using an electric spark, a plasma arc in this case, over a traditional flame? For starters, and this is a huge selling point for use outdoors, the arc it produces is windproof and rainproof. It's not just the arc though that's resistant to the elements, the whole unit is submersible, and it can stay that way for weeks at depths of up to 30 meters before incursion, thanks to the zinc alloy casing that's coated in rubberized plastic. If you get yourself caught in a tight spot, the electric lighter's weather-resistant arc isn't the only thing that could aid in saving your life. The lighter machines in a three-mode LED and a loud emergency whistle to make this an all-around excellent and reliable lighter to pack away with your other kit. If you frequent the outdoors and you haven't heard of Arcteryx, we have no words. Their superior craftsmanship with technical gear and apparel paired with their unrelenting attention to detail has made them a mainstay for those in the know when compared against their contemporaries like Patagonia and the North Face. Since we've already overviewed a pack's worth of outdoor EDC essentials, you'll need a carry solution to store them, and Arcteryx makes a great waste pack for quick excursions or brief hikes. The Mantis 2 waste pack is the larger second gen 2.5 liter bag you can use as a smaller backpack companion. Its DNA shares many similarities to a sling with a flat back panel and a crossbody or over the shoulder strap, so it's comfortable to wear in pretty much any orientation on body. The Mantis 2's framework has been updated from the original and offers a less cluttered silhouette than its predecessor while using 100% recycled polyester fabric. Apart from nylon, polyester is a close second in terms of water resistance, but don't expect the Mantis 2 waste bag to be fully waterproof, as the zippers don't feature any form of weatherproofing, unfortunately. The lack of AquaGuard zippers is one of our only main gripes with the pack, but it's certainly not a deal breaker since this is intended to be used as a secondary companion. Keep anything of extreme value that can't get wet inside your main pack if you're going to bring this along in compromising environments. Inside, the Mantis 2 uses what Arcteryx dubs a smart organization system, which is just the lattice of dividers and zippers to keep your carry arranged so it doesn't shift around during transit. They supply a front zippered pocket with a key leash, an under the radar dedicated rear pocket for a smartphone, and a 2.5 liter internal cavity with a few zip pockets and dividers. Here's all the stuff we were able to fit in. And our favorite thing about the Mantis 2 is that it walks the line between casual and technical use. It doesn't look too overbuilt, so you can even comfortably wear this in an urban outdoor setting. That's a wrap for us, but as always, we'd love to hear what gear you can't leave home without. Drop us a link below with your favorite outdoor EDC essentials.